All right, welcome everyone. Dr. Jenna Sullivan here. I'm going to be going over your questions. So we haven't done this in a while. We haven't done a Q&A in a while and I wanted to be able to answer as many questions as possible. So what I'm going to do is make sure that we are we are live, so I think we're good. And you all are good to go here. So I need to make sure that we are set up here. Normally, um, I don't worry too much, but I want to make sure that we don't have any distractions. <laughs> it's a Friday night. Anything can happen. Okay, so in my group, it's called Ask Dr. Jen. Uh, you can join that group. Uh, I know a lot of you who follow me on my wall don't know about that group because my main group, we had a quarter of a million people in a main group that got hacked two years ago. My um, my main page and my group got hacked. And so we moved everything over to a new group. So that's a new group that a lot of you aren't in. So if you've been following me for any length of time and you're thinking, what in the world is she talking about? Just uh, type in Ask Dr. Jen on Facebook and it will show you. So we are uh, live on our Zoom. And what I do is I post the Zoom link and the question thread, what are your questions for today? And then I try to answer them to the best of my ability as we move through, because there's usually a lot of random questions. But what I'm gonna do is just go through them one at a time. And so uh, we get I get questions from like all different types of companies. A lot of times we talk about phototherapy, but I am a naturopath. So I'm a, a doctor of naturopathy. Uh, board certified, and I'm a licensed ecclesiastical holistic practitioner. I'm also a certified um, master herbalist. I'm a certified French medicinal aromatherapist. So I got a lot of different random degrees under me, but um, the main one is I'm a board certified doctor of naturopathy. But here in the state of California, because they don't like us, um, I'm also a licensed ecclesiastical holistic practitioner because we do have to have a license. Okay, so just so that you're aware, um, if you did want to check out my actual credentials, you can go to jenosullivan.com and you can look all of them up. I've even had people call. Uh, I've had people call the different schools to confirm. It's really funny. So um, they're like, yes, she passed with flying colors, <laughs> a, a student. So, you know, got all my certifications in order and all of my documentation in order. So, um, so let's move on and let's just kind of make sure that you guys get your questions answered quickly. Uh, so question came up, any product or recipe that is comparable to Inner Defense? So Inner Defense is a product that is essential oils. It is basically, um, I believe it's like thieves with oregano. So it's uh, Young Living thieves with oregano. And I think there might be one other essential oil in there, but it's basically a, a pretty simple, but very effective um, capsule that you don't take daily. So one of the mis um, education things that people will share is that you should be taking that every single day. And that's very wrong. You don't take an essential oil capsule every single day. You use it when needed. Uh, and you can dose on that when needed up to three or four days, uh, three or four capsules at a time, three or four times a day. That is considered a natural, like a natural form of antibiotic, as opposed to something that kills all the bacteria in your body. You can use essential oils to help um, work in concert with your body. But uh, as far as an alternative, yeah, there's a book that I wrote that it was a best-selling book uh, in on Amazon called the. Um, supplements desk reference. And in that book is a whole section on essential oils, singles, individual essential oils that are supportive of say your immune system. So inner defense is immune system supporting. It has like clove, rosemary, um, like all the heavy hitters, cinnamon bark, uh, eucalyptus radiata. So it's a, a, the one that is okay to use, not the eucalyptus globulus. <laughs> so eucalyptus, eucalyptus globulus is okay, but where um, certain blends that have eucalyptus in them will get some heat is when they're using the globulus around children, you want to make sure it's radiata. And that's the one that this one has. But the thing about, and with oregano, so those are all heavy hitter, um, you know, I think it's a lemon essential oil as well. So when you're looking at essential oils from an immune system perspective, you want to hit different categories. So you don't do all the crazy hot ones. So what I mean by that is you don't do clove and oregano and cinnamon bark and black pepper. Like you don't do all of those hot, hot oils all at once. 
you maybe take one or two. So if you were making your own capsule, you may take one or two of those. So maybe you're taking clove and cinnamon bark and then adding one or two calming oils that are still good for your immune system, like copaiba, frankincense, and then maybe adding something like rosemary or one of the herbs like thyme, uh, there, there's oregano, right? You can get that in there. That's a spicy oil though too. So take that into consideration. And then possibly a citrus. And one of my favorite, favorite immune system supporting citruses is bergamot. Uh, so some people will say orange or lemon, but realistically bergamot is a better one in my opinion, but you can take those categories. So again, categories would be like a spicy oil, something that's hot, spicy, uh, an oil that's more calming, like I said, copaiba, frankincense, and even lavender is a really good immune supporting oil. Uh, you can take then a citrus, some, one of the citrus family, lime, tangerine, orange, lemon, bergamot, any of those, and you take one or two from each category. And then you're rotating through what you're using. Your body will do better on an essential oil capsule if you're rotating through rather than using the same thing over and over again. So um, yes, you can create your own. What I do encourage you though, is the capsule itself is a long, it's a, a, a capsule that will disintegrate more in your upper intestines rather than in your stomach. So I encourage you to look for capsules like that. They're designed to release in your upper intestines. They're long release. You can get them on Amazon. You don't just use a normal veggie capsule, okay? And what you would do with any of these is make sure you have four drops of carrier oil, like olive oil, in each capsule that you're using. So uh, there's instructions in that um, supplements desk reference, but that helps people kind of understand the usage. You never do long-term internal use of essential oils that are that aggressive. This is for something that is acute, that you're just trying to hit uh, hard at the beginning and get through it, and then you stop. You don't do this for any long length of time, okay? So that's just a note. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, next question. What can you do for age-related dry skin? So I'm 50 years old, and one of the things that we do, there's two things. One is making sure that you have good collagen and elastin. And so that is phototherapy. We use a lot of phototherapy in this house and specifically X39 and Alavita. Uh, those two patches are really great for uh, collagen and elastin and um, just overall health of your cells. So that's step one. Step two is finding a really clean moisturizer. So I use O3 serum. That is a seven in one serum. So you don't have to buy a bunch of different things. You can just do that. There are other things on the market that are really good too. Um, I would say a, another comparable brand as far as it just being clean would be Juice Beauty. They have really good um, serums and, and things. Uh, they have a an essential oil serum that I, every time I use it, I think this is my recipe. <laughs> I'm sure it's not, but it smells exactly like one of my face serums that I invented like eight years ago. So, and it's a newer product and I, I kid you not, every time I use it, it just brings back the memory of, of, of one of my original, um, deluxe facial serums. <laughs> so, uh, and that recipe you can get on the EO bar app and, um, in a bunch of my other books, I've, I've written that recipe down. So, uh, that's, you know, you can buy that pre-made on, um, juice beauty. So you can also just make your own. You can use a carrier oil, like jojoba oil. That's a really great wax, technically a wax, but, um, really great for your skin. And you can use that with whatever you like, frankincense, lavender, sandalwood, a lot of great essential oils out there um, to figure out a, a perfect mix. Cedarwood, there's a bunch. So uh, that would be what I would do for age-related dry skin. You need to topically, but you also need to consider your cell, cells. You need to consider your hydration. Um, I've, I've preached to you guys about hydration for a long time now. I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to tell you I want you drinking two big gulps of water every 15 minutes. I found that some of you trying to do the every 30 minutes don't really hit the mark, and then you are technically dehydrated. So every 15 minutes. So I have some... Uh, chocolate salt in here. This has electrolytes and I'm going to just take a sip. And I'm take I took a big gulp. During this conversation, I probably will just do one every 30 minutes because, you know, it's a little annoying to watch somebody drink water all the time. 
but um, that's something that I would encourage you to for your skin. You need to hydrate better. Most people don't hydrate as well as they think they are. They might say, oh, I do. I drink half my body weight in ounces. Well, what does that mean? Do you wake up in the morning and drink 16 ounces? If so, that's wrong because only four to five of those ounces will be used and the rest you will flush out. It's why your pee is clear. So if you have urine that is clear, it means you're overhydrating. Uh, if you are drinking four to five ounces every 30 minutes or two to three ounces every 15 minutes, uh, you know, you could do the math on that and pull that down a little bit. Basically, if you did two to two and a half ounces every 15 minutes, you're at a better hydration level. You actually won't urinate as much. It will be about four to five hours before you have to go to the bathroom. So that gives you a longer ability. Sometimes I do that and I can go eight hours without peeing, uh, but your body will have to regulate. So proper electrolytes, proper hydration, not half your body weight in ounces, but two to three ounces every 15 minutes is a better way to go. Okay, is there an electrolyte mix you think is good for folks who are exercising and sweating a lot? Well, yes, any of them. So I don't think that the ones that have sugar in them are good. Be careful about some of the fillers. Uh, I do, you know, I, I've been I've been telling you guys about all these different brands and different ones. I'm like, well, this one is good, but the flavor is not great. This one, the flavor is good, but the ingredients aren't as good. It's it's hard because we're trying to find the right one. Uh, one that I feel has been a better mix of the two, meaning better flavor, better electrolyte mix would be a Relight by Redmond's. Redmond's salt is a real natural salt. Um uh, sea salt, and it has a good mix of potassium, a little bit more potassium than the other ones do with the magnesium. So I encourage you on that. Um, there is a big misunderstanding about salt. And I will say like my dad, funny, he's the one that always like, oh, my rings, they're so tight because I had extra chips and there was too much salt in my meal. That's actually incorrect. It's because he doesn't get enough salt in his diet that he's swelling. So oftentimes that swelling or even edema in, in extreme cases um, happen because your body doesn't get enough salt. So when you get salt, it thinks, oh, I got to hold on to this more and, and, and hold on to the water and hold on to everything because they're not going to, they're not doing what I need them to do. It, it's kind of like body weight, right? You're trying to lose weight. And if you're stressed out, your body thinks you're dying, so it doesn't lose any weight. That's that's a cortisol issue. When you have too much cortisol, your body's like in fight or flight mode, so it just doesn't lose any weight. With water, it's the same thing. When you're not hydrating properly and when you don't have enough electrolytes, guess what happens? When you do, for the first time, start drinking, this is an interesting thing. It takes about two to three days for your body to figure out that, oh, she's going to keep hydrating me. Because in the beginning, when you start drinking four to five ounces every 30 minutes or two ounces every 15 minutes, you do pee a little bit like crazy because your body is like, what's happening? They're flooding us. And so it flushes it out. But then it starts realizing, oh, okay, this is proper hydration. It's going to then regulate. And guess what? You'll go four to five, six, seven, even eight hours without having to pee when you're properly hydrated. It's the same thing with salt. When you get two to four grams of salt per day, that's 2,000 to 4,000 milligrams. How many of you have a doctor that have said you need to stay under 1,500 milligrams a day because you're going to have high blood pressure? That's incorrect. Please, please fact check this and you will see what I'm talking about. Go on to the studies that have been promoted to say that we need low salt and you'll, low sodium diets are better for high blood pressure. Completely wrong. It's the opposite. We actually need more sodium more consistently. And guess what? Your blood um, pressure regulates, your edema regulates, your swelling, all the things that just are not fun regulate. So that's a, a, one of those issues of like drinking too much water, drinking not enough water, eating too much salt, not enough salt. It's not about that. It's about getting the right amount regularly. So that helps your body. Now, some of you have said, wait a minute. There's been these studies where you look at, you know, people that live in the middle of nowhere and they need hardly any water. They could take a couple sips a day, right? And be just fine. Why is it that we, civilized people, need to keep drinking water? It's the electricity. It's all of the electromagnetic radiation that is causing your cells to not be happy and we need more hydration. 
So if you took a person and took them out of the electromagnetic radiation field that they're in all the time, the onslaught of EMFs, and put them into a yurt in the middle of nowhere, in about four months, their body will start to realize, regulate, and you actually won't need as much water. It's like a really interesting thing. Your diseases will start to go away. You'll start to feel better. It's a very interesting thing to understand how um, much damage electricity, like the electricity in the air and around us is doing to us. So just another side note. Okay, so moving on. Um, yeah, so any of those, I would say the relight is my favorite right now. And uh, the one that my son and I kind of landed on is the pina colada flavored one is actually really good. Okay, um, I've been using X39 and various other patches since June of 2023. I'm in good health, health overall, but what would you suggest I do going forward? I have heard um, of the maintenance patches, so it's a maintenance packs, uh, but I don't have any knowledge of that protocol. It's not a protocol, it's just a package of patches. Um, so if you're going on and you've just, you said various other patches, but you didn't tell me which ones, so it's hard to know what to suggest going forward. Um, if you are on my team, so some of you are um, in my group and it's not necessarily my team, let's say you're a customer of mine. As a naturopath, my main modality is phototherapy. So if, in order for you to join my concierge program uh, and get an hour consult with, excuse me, a half an hour consult with me, and technically it's an hour because you'll get a pre-consult with me to go over what patches you need and then an actual health consult with me, with me, consult with me, uh, you would need to come in at the um, top package level that was going to give you about a year's worth of patches. If you've already joined and you're thinking, well, wait a minute, what do I need to do now? You need to you need to upgrade. So you log into your account, go under store, and then upgrade kit. So if you have if you have the ability to select upgrade kits, that means you still have upgrades and you need to upgrade to the top level one, the most expensive one, because that one is going to give you the most free patches. We want to give you the most free patches. We want to give you three months in my concierge service for free. And we want to give you your um, sessions to be able to do one-on-one -on -one with me, which um, I don't actually do because I have too many, too many clients uh, and a waiting list. So right now we have a special that enables you to get into my concierge program for three months, have a year's worth of patches, plus a, a 30 minute consult with me, technically a pre-consult and then another 30 minute consult with me afterwards. And we're going to go over everything, everything that you're doing. And it's very helpful. They're very helpful. <laughs> so anybody that's on here right now live that's have a, had a consult with me, um, you can type in the comments and, and say how you felt about our consults. They're very helpful. Uh, I, I don't let you chat forever. I actually um, pre-ask I pre -ask a bunch of questions. So I know what's happening ahead of time. And then I ask you some questions and then we go through the whole um, thing of maybe what you're doing wrong, what you should change, what you should try. Uh, and it's, it's very helpful. So that I encourage you to do by this Sunday, uh, and that would be a big deal. But, uh, you know, as far as Regina's question, I don't really know what other patches you're on and what else you're doing. So instead of doing the maintenance pack, the maintenance pack is a pack of patches that you choose to buy. Uh, I would encourage you to upgrade. So if you're ready to upgrade, you can contact me and I will help you figure out what to upgrade. And then um, the maintenance pack, once you've upgraded out to the, you know, like you've gone as far as you can in the upgrades, you're going to log in and go under store and then go under maintenance packs or maintenance kits. And that's going to give you the ability to purchase um, a pack of, of patches, like a, more than normal. So like three months or six months at a time. And you're going to save on shipping because they're going to ship it to you all at once. And then it's going to keep you active for the amount of months that you chose, either three or six months. And that's a really beneficial way to stay active so that you can stay in my concierge group. Okay, um, how precise do we need to be with placement of patches to get man maximum benefit? I think it depends on what you're working on. So what I have noticed is, uh, you know, for um, a good amount of time, I would just wear the X39 behind my back and then I'd wear different patches in different parts of my body for different things, uh, X49 here and there. And then I started noticing after blocks of time, oh, for the last four months, I was using consistently X39 and X49 and my fingernails have been really strong. And then on the months that I stopped doing that, they weren't as strong. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Or, um, you know, moving forward with certain things like my sleep and, and using Alavita 
Alavita and then noticing my skin feeling more supple uh, because I'm using Alavita with X39 as opposed to just X39 alone, things like that. Um, things where I noticed uh, getting into say SP6, I'm using X39 that has completely regulated my hormones, but I'm a human being. And as things change and I've maybe eaten too much, um, you know, dairy, my hormones shift a little bit more. And then I start feeling a little more, um, maybe emotional distress, you know, crazy perimenopausal stuff. And, um, and I stick an SP six patch on my ST 36 point. It's, it's right on the outer shin, um, of your left ST 36 point. This is why it's important for you guys to get the patch manual, the patch manual. I don't have one on me because we've sold out, but it's going to have this page, the patch placement guide. We actually include one of these in every order from our company. They're available on, on Amazon though, too. So you can grab the patch manual on there and that that's in there. And it tells you exactly where everything is with, with instructions on each patch. But that, uh, um, that is something where you don't have to be like crazy accurate, but I have noticed, you know, ST36 point helps more with menopause as far as the ST, the SP6. So there's an ST36 point. So let's see if I can point this out to you. Um, let's see if I can grab both. So here's both right and left. So that's the energy enhancer. And I'm, I don't ever see my screen or else I fidget. Okay. So if you guys can see here, that's the shin. So you can see this is you, this is the energy enhancer. So, but that's your spot. So the S, ST36 spot is better for hormones. Whereas the SP6 location, which is four finger widths above your inner ankle on your left for the sugar cravings. So, you know, if you're doing the ST36 on the right, that might be a glutathione Eon patch. There's some different patches. So, I mean, it just depends in the patch manual. There's a whole section on acupressure points and it will tell you on the left page, all the most common points used in patching and then what that point is known for. So you can look at all the things on there and think, oh, I should try that. So the thing is what I was saying is I noticed my eyesight improved quicker when I was using the X39 on the back of my neck. When I started using the X39 on my stomach, when I, you know, cause I do the back of my neck for X39 and the X49 two finger widths below my belly button when I'm doing X49, there have been months when I've stopped using X49 and just, I just, I'm like, well, it's easier for me to put things on my belly because I can see, I can clean it better. So if you get the little like patch residual, uh, you know, from the sticker stuff, it's, it's easier to clean. So I noticed for several months I was using it below my belly and my hormones were better because that's a better spot for women for hormones. But I noticed, oh, my vision is getting a little bit weird. It wasn't, it, I just, it was not getting bad. I just noticed that, um, I was starting to pick up my glasses more. And then, so for the past three months, I've been putting the X39 on the back of my neck consistently. And I, well, lo and behold, I'm not wearing my glasses anymore. So it's right. It's, it's just a matter of some certain placement, like carnosine, if you need it for brain health, stick it closer to your brainstem. Like that's, you know, you, know, you can stick it here or behind your neck. So it just depends. And that's where it's not like I think some of you want to know what the exact answer is and the exact placement, and that's not entirely necessary. Um, it's just a matter of moving forward, um, you know, understanding the basics. So it's why we stick with X39 though. We don't want to get into like too many patches too soon. So at least for the first two or three months, stick with X39 and Eon. And then you can move into some others, like maybe SP6, X49, like some of the easier ones that are going to work better for you right at the beginning. Um, and then, you know, weight on glutathione and carnosine. Those can be really heavy detoxing ones, but they're excellent patches. So just depends on, on each person. And, and I think part of that is, why it's beneficial to sign up with someone like me that can actually help walk you through that. Uh, if you are on my team and you upgrade to the, the top package, uh, I, I do a one-on-one -on -one with you as well. So you just need to be in my actual downline. If you are on someone else's team, I'm sorry, I'm not able to um, do that because I just, I, you know, we've got over 5,000 people on my team that I, I have to focus on first. Um, and in my concierge close to a thousand. So we, 
we can focus on the whole, <laughs> I'm only one person. So we do the best we can. Uh, so hopefully that, that helps. Um, okay. So this question is about being on X39 for six weeks and she wants to add X49 and possibly SP6. It's okay. You can actually, uh, the best way to do it is you're on X39, you're doing that consistently and then maybe add SP6 a, one day and use that for like a week with your X39 and see how you feel. And then maybe the next week add X49. So now you're wearing all three of those patches during the first, the, the 12 hours on period. And just note, just note how you feel. How many of you have ever overtaken supplements where you've taken too many and then you feel nauseous or on an empty stomach, right? That's usually the problem. That's sort of the same thing here. If you have too much phototherapy on you, you feel a little off and then just take one off. So it's okay. Just again, it's just getting your body. If you're, if you're six weeks in and you feel pretty good, you can try, you can try some other patches. Just, I think some people think, okay, now I'm ready to go. And then you, you get all the patches and then you've got like six or seven patches on every 12 hours. <laughs> like, What's happening. Um, you just don't want to overdo it. It's just like overdoing it with supplements because your body is getting stimulated by the phototherapy in different spots for different things. And so we just don't want to overdo your body. We just, you know, I usually say three or four patches every, every 12 hour period. So you can do three or four at night, three or four during the day, um, and see how you feel. Okay. My husband has nerve pain in his neck and upper back from old injuries that cause headaches a lot too. What's a good starting place for him? We've never used the patches, but we want, um, to, because the neuro neurologist wanted to do a fusion, um, and cortisol, cortis cortisone shots had no effect. Okay. Hubby didn't want to go down that road any further. Injuries are from old old horse accidents. Um, and then a recent fall flat on his back and head and hip ooh, on the concrete. Okay. So yes, I encourage you to, um, you know, if you are my person, which I, I know you, so you're welcome to message me personally. Um, the gal who's asking is a friend of mine and she may know someone else though. So again, I don't ever like to step on anybody's toes. So if there was somebody else that introduced the patches to you first, please feel free to go with them. But, um, if I am your person, then you can contact me. And yeah, I would get you both on a couples package and it's just, it's one set of, of, um, patches. You'll, you'll, um, sign in as a diamond thing. And that's going to get you both, uh, three months worth of concierge, both, um, about 10 months worth of patches. And we're going to do X39. Um, and then we're going to also do some Eon patches and for him, possibly some carnosine. Uh, so we're going to kind of do some things where I'm going to work personally with you guys to make sure that it's the right thing. We also have a patch pairing called ice wave, which can be very life-changing for people with pain. But if you're trying to work on old injuries, oftentimes X39 is the best way to go. So, you know, and Eon, especially for the inflammation. So I would say, um, and then for the brain health, uh, X39 and carnosine. So those would be some, some starting points. So uh, you're welcome to message me. Okay. What's your opinion on diets for your blood type? Um, I'm not, I, you know, I, I think I'm a type um, O and so that would be blood type, like original, like the, the O is like the, one of the oldest. So paleo is supposed to be good for uh, me. Um, you know, part of it is an interesting thing because I feel like if you are say a type A and you're only supposed to be a vegetarian and you just feel terrible on it. Like if you feel terrible, not having any, any animal protein, well, why, why do that? Right. You have to pay attention to your own body. You might have a certain blood type, but be severely deficient in certain minerals. You may be severely deficient in like B vitamins. You, you may have a specific blood type, but have MTHFR gene mutation, which creates a whole host of potential issues. You may have a certain blood type that says do one thing, right? So let's say you're a type A and you're supposed to only be eating vegetarian, but you have a lectin allergy. What do you do then? Because lectins are all over the place in vegetarian diets, right? So, right. It, it, it's not part of my problem with diets that these books come out with um, is they're not one size fits all. And, and they tried to make it that. So I don't do that. I look at how are you feeling? What is, what is commonly a reactor? So what are the common issues? What are the common triggers? Corn, any grains. So that's wheat, 
Weed is a huge one here in the United States. We were all in Greece recently and we were joking with a bunch of people talking about like, we can eat anything here and we don't feel terrible. Why do you think that is? The United States has a highly bastardized food source. Food, our food source, food system, everything about it is riddled with Roundup, chemicals, genetically modified. It's also just hybridized, highly hybridized to where your body doesn't recognize it anymore. You can have organic produce that is so hybridized, you, your body wouldn't even recognize it. And so why? Why do we have problems with our food? Because the United States has allowed it. So I don't, I don't think um, eating for your blood type is helpful here in the States. Possibly you could try that in Europe, but there's just too many factors in place. So the question though that you had is if let's say you're type A blood and you're supposed to be eating vegetarian, would it be a problem for you to take supplements with beef ingredients? Again, how do you feel? When you take a supplement, you're supposed to feel better. If you don't feel better, don't take it. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that helps. Um, and again, I, I don't, I don't, all I remember is type O because that's what I am. I remember at one point, I, I think type A is vegetarian. I could totally be wrong because I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't like that method. That's me. Okay. And some of you swear by it. Great. If it works for you, then it works for you. Go for it. It's like all of you crazy carnivores. It's amazing. Great. If it works for you, great. And all of you crazy vegans, great. <laughs> if it works for you, great. Just remember, each of us are different and your body's going to respond to different things. Now, if you sit there and say, well, my body type is a muffins and cake and candy and coffee and whatever, because I feel great on that. And you're 300 pounds, not great. Okay. So again, we, we want to look at the whole picture and we don't want to justify coffee. Don't be shoving some study down my throat telling me that coffee is good for you. I want you to look at who funded that study. It was funded by a coffee manufacturer. Uh, we have to just be wise, right? And my goal as a naturopath, my goal as a human, one of my biggest goals is to help people stop being stupid. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? I'm stupid. I'm gullible. I'm super gullible. You could tell me something with a straight face and I would believe you because I want to believe you because I'm, I understand words are words. Words matter. What you say should be the truth, but people lie. Okay. Here in the United States, everyone lies. And what I mean by that is the food manufacturing companies. I have people so brainwashed into thinking milk is good for you. And they get mad at me because they own a dairy farm. And I'm thinking, can you actually do the research? No, they don't want to because it affects their livelihood. What does that mean? It affects money. When something like a, a person, right? Let's say you work for one essential oil company and another essential oil company and they're fighting. How many of you have had that happen? Two opposing essential oil companies fighting. And, you know, when I left the oil company world, um, everybody was asking me, oh, am I going to join the other oil company? What? I taught you guys for years not to use that oil company because they don't know what they're doing. They're fractionally distilling their essential oils. Okay. If I showed you proof of that and you're a, a, a leader in that company making a good amount of money, why would you want to even look at that? You wouldn't. Because not only would I be affecting your like understanding of essential oils, sure, maybe you could get down that path, but then you'd be like, but wait a minute, you're taking away money that's providing food for my family. So I don't, it's fine. I always have told people like, that's why I had so many followers from different companies. Cause I'm like, you use whatever company you like. I'm going to tell you the truth about them. And I even, even to this day, I mean, I have no problem telling you guys the truth about companies. There's only two companies in this entire 
state country, our entire country, the United States of America, there's only two that do not fractionally distill their oils. And that's a hard pill to swallow because it's not doTERRA. They fractionally distill. You know, I would... I don't sell for an oil company anymore. I don't care. But I, I, I've always said to, most of you never asked who the second one was. I've always said there's two companies. <laughs> it's so funny to me how you guys hear what you want to hear. But, but that's the reality is that, you know, like just bringing up doTERRA, it's a good oil company. They're good oils. They're fractionally distilled though. So I don't use them for therapeutic use. I can use them for limbic therapeutic use. They smell phenomenal because they fraction, fractionated out the earthier tones, the kind of offensive tones, the, the aromas that are offensive, they pulled those out. And um, they did that on purpose. There was a marketing reason for that. Uh, they don't admit it today and they deny it. And I'm thinking, why deny it? Own it. Own it. You guys have great smelling oils. Good to replace your candles. <laughs> They're still natural. But when I'm looking for internal therapeutic use, they're useless. It's just a different animal. I, you know, I feel like they'd probably sell more oils if they just owned what they do. And that's part of the problem is people just want to, they all want to be like the other person. So I'm just over me too companies. There's too many of them. That's all they are. You come to me with a company that is not a me too company and I'm interested in it. And guess what company is not a me too company? LifeWave. Nobody else on the planet has this. I, I got a gal messaging me the other day about this new supplement that's supposed to do like it's plant stem cells. And I'm like, that has been around for decades. Okay. Gemotherapy. I started using them. They don't do much. Okay. They're better help for emotional things, but they're not going to increase your own body's production of stem cells. That's not how plant stem cells work. And so it's just an interesting thing because uh, there was like this comparison of the patches, they don't put the actual company, but versus their supplement. And it's lies. It's absolute lies. And I sort of giggled when I read it because I was like, this is false. People can say anything they want and pass it off as truth. So I won't buy from companies that compare themselves to another company. Uh, there's a, a new electrolyte company out that keeps comparing themselves to like this brand. Or you know, anybody that puts a them and us, no thanks. We don't we don't need to do that. You you shouldn't have to bash another company to elevate your own. Own what you do well, do it well, and people will come to you. But it's real ugly practice. Like Revive, that was one of the ugliest companies that ever came out. And so many of you bought their BS hook, line, and sinker. Okay. Uh, Ali Suleiman should be ashamed of himself, but he's not, he's laughing all the way to the bank because it's about money. It wasn't about essential oils. It's about money. Let's make an a essential oil called margarita or mojito or whatever. And people will buy it. Sure. Cause it's fractionally distilled and it's fun, but the way you guys go about marketing, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, are they? No, no, there's no shame in any marketing. If you can capture the almighty dollar from somebody else, that's it. It's, it's all is fair in love and war right? and it's war. So, but as a, as a consumer, I don't, I don't want any part of that. I don't want to, I don't want to put money into the hands of somebody that is marketing that way. What ours is, that's why even when I no longer work with young living, I don't bash their stuff. I help you guys understand what things are and what are different and what things I even, you know, today on conversation, I said, yeah, that's a good one. Do that. Okay, you purchase from Young Living. Here's the stuff you want to buy from them. I'm still promoting them, even though I don't work with them anymore. It, it, it doesn't matter to me. If you like a brand and I think that the brand has good stuff, great. A lot of you have asked me, hey, Jen, what do I? what is the difference? What would be another supplement? Like if I don't want to use the Omega, well, it's a company I don't sell for them. I can tell you an Amazon company that you can go buy. If you're asking me for actual what to how to swap out. So some of you want to swap out. So again, it just depends on where you're at. And I do the best I can. Um, but I'm, I still, I ask my, I even ask my people that I do the concierge. I go, okay, any of you in Young Living, here's what you buy. If you still are buying Young Living, here's what you buy. Like, you know, I'm not against any company. I'm just, I just think, and, and Young Living never has pitted against other companies. They've never said, 
oh, we're better because of this. And Gary was like, we just do what we do and move forward. I don't know how Mary is moving forward with that, but I know that was Gary's um, philosophy of just like, don't worry about what everyone else is doing. We do the best we can with what we have and we move forward. So um, I appreciate that. And I appreciate that in any other company that does that. They just do what you do and do it well. Okay, so sorry for the soapbox. Um, yeah, so if you're getting a reclass infusion, you can wear X39 and X49 or an Eon during that. That's fine. Uh, has anyone noticed pain from wearing X39? I had a person tell me that she ached more when wearing X39. Absolutely. Okay, so here's how it works. When you start X39 for the first two or three months, or beyond even, because your body might start be healing in one area and you'll feel pain there because there's activity there, right? So when the X39 starts um, triggering your body to create specific amino acids and then binds those amino acids to copper, takes rogue copper in your body, amino acids that are there, binds them and promotes that and starts proliferating or making more of that. It's a tripeptide that it's making, basically a copper peptide. And that is going to um, then translate into your body producing healthier stem cells. That is just how the science works. So mitochondria are activated. It triggers your body to combine glycine, histidine, and lysine. It's a tripeptide bound to copper. So it's taking rogue copper in your body, binding it to this tripeptide, creating this GHKCU molecular structure that of amino acids that then help trigger your body to produce healthy stem cells. Your body's healthy stem cell activity rises and falls with your body's GHKCU or glycine, histidine, lysine, copper bound tripeptide. Okay. So it's a lot of words there, but it rises and falls together. So as we age, we decline in GHKCU and we decline in stem cell activity. As we allow this to be engaged and reproduce that they go up. So one thing about pain is that when you have more healthy stem cells, those stem cells go to work where they want to go to work, where your body needs it most, not where you want it. You're like, I want my face to not be so wrinkly. And your body's like, well, we need to work on your lungs. Well, I don't, I don't see that. Well, and then I feel it. I feel really tired. Well, it's working on your lungs or you have edema in your right ankle. And all of a sudden you start, you wear X39 and you're, it's getting worse and more painful or your neuropathy. Neuropathy can be very painful and especially when it starts to heal because the nerve endings start to heal and it creates a fire sensation because it's healing. Okay. So um, that's a good thing. Lean into the pain. You know, when my rib, every once in a while, even like I can tell when it's going to rain because I've got um, scar tissue around my rib where it broke twice, same rib twice broken good amount of scar tissue that sits on some nerves so I can feel it on my back. It's not painful, but it's annoying. Well, when I first started the patch, it I could feel my rib pain again. It was like a four year ago break. And I'm like, oh, why does my rib hurt? Oh, it's healing. It's remodeling, smoothing out that scar tissue. That's a good thing. So yes, you can notice and have actual extra pain um, from this. So Gay's question is I've been on X39 and Eon for over a month, which isn't that much time by the way. And she added SP six after three weeks. She says, is anyone but me not seeing any positive difference? I love that question. And she said the first week, my shoulder really hurt. At least that didn't continue. Okay. Well, your shoulder really hurt because it was healing an old injury. That's a good thing. Number two, um, there's a few areas that you want to look at when you start phototherapy, uh, specifically with X39. In the case of, say, my husband, he's copper deficient. There's very few people on the planet that are copper deficient, um, but some people are. And what I mean by that is, do you eat any copper containing foods? He doesn't. He doesn't like chocolate, no dark chocolate, like definitely not dark chocolate. He won't eat organ meats, obviously, right? I mean, not obviously, but like most people don't, but some people do. He won't eat dark leafy greens. He doesn't eat nuts. Anything that contains natural copper, he doesn't eat. So it's no wonder he's copper deficient. 
So, you know, probably about six or seven months ago, we started him on a copper supplement and we don't give it to him all the time. Just every once in a while, he does a copper glycin glycinate um, actual supplement uh, capsule. And then he also takes um, a sublingual nano copper. And again, we kind of do this maybe twice a week. You know, here's a capsule once and then I'll do the, you know, nano copper just to kind of keep some copper in his body. And then he wears the X39 patch. Okay, so that's one piece of the puzzle. Please, please do not promote that everybody on X39 should have a copper supplement. You, you don't you don't need it. Most of us have enough copper. If anything, most of us have too much rogue copper. So that's where you want to um, actually not tell people to be on copper. But if someone's not seeing results, and I don't, she, you're seeing results because within the first two weeks, you're pain in your shoulder, your shoulder hurt, and then it went away. So that was healing. That's a huge deal. What also then you want to consider is um, copper, but then also your amino acids. So you can look at glycine, histidine, lysine, and see if you're getting a good amino acid profile intake in your diet. Um, you know, and I'm not going to get into the details of which ones you all automatically have and which ones you need from food, but there are supplements like the PRL plant, um, the plant, it's like a protein powder. It tastes like nothing, but it has a complete amino acid profile, something to consider you could take. It's kind of like when you're using X49, if you're a vegan, if you don't eat any meat, you need alanine. It will not, you will not have any success with X49 if you don't have alanine in your system. And so you get that from eating meat. So a vegan just has to take an alanine supplement uh, to then promote the production of AHKCU. It's a very interesting science of understanding how this works. The other thing is if you are um, dealing with uh, reversed polarity, which is very rare, uh, you know, you know that you have reversed polarity if you're tripping over everything. Uh, you have two left feet, right? If that's you, then you can uh, look up the cross crawl method in patch edu. It's our Facebook group. And uh, you're just doing, you know, right elbow is the easiest method, right elbow to like left elbow to right knee, you know, right elbow to left knee. And you kind of do that marching uh, for about 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Uh, that helps to um, correct your polarity. Another issue could be that you're actually not drinking water properly. So dehydration is a big problem because your cells have little mitochondria all in them as your ATP centers, the energy centers of your cell all over the place. And, and when you put these patches on, it activates those and the mitochondria are like, ah, right. And that triggers other processes in your body. So if you're dehydrated, the cells are sort of sticky and on top of each other and not, and so the mitochondria start moving and the cells are a little compressed and dehydrated. And that's why you feel nauseous. You can have a headache. You just don't feel right. But also the patches won't work as well if you're not hydrated. So you've got to hydrate. Take, you know, a big gulp every 15 minutes or two big gulps every 15 minutes. That's, that's a key element. And then electrolytes. So you might be imbalanced with electrolytes. So get, get better food, like eat some sweet potatoes, have some watermelon, get some avocado. You know, there's some natural forms of, um, of electrolytes that you can, you know, consume, but just maybe take some relight stick packs. I don't know, find, find an electrolyte that you like and um, take it. So, you know, you are seeing results. You're just maybe not seeing the positive results you want to see. So keep at it. It took you how many years? What are you in your 60s? How, how long did it take you to get to where you are? And then you're expecting in six weeks to be perfect? It's unrealistic. So that's why I tell people 10 to 12 months, you are committing to this. People who don't see results and don't re see results and don't see results and they stick with it, the skies part and open up at around the 10 month mark. I don't know what it is. There's something about that 10 month mark that seems to be magical for the people who've complained the most. Okay. And I feel like there's a brain thing that their brain is like, we've talked about this a lot in past years about a reverse placebo effect where, um, you know, I can use an essential oil that's maybe labeled joy and I could be so mad and I could put that oil on be like, just, you know, I'm putting the joy on and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to be joyful. 
and you're just mad and your brain, your body, your physiology can physically block your ability to have cellular opening. Okay. And you could just say, it's not going to work. Now I can do the reverse of that and put it on someone like my husband who has no clue what I'm putting on him. And all of a sudden he's like happy and nice and all, where did that come from? Well, I put an essential oil on him that has been proven and noted to help bring about happier feelings, better emotional, right? But if I know and I force myself into the complaint of not having joy, I can block that. It's a, it's like a reverse placebo effect. So the same, the same can be true in patches where you're just angry and your body is just pushing away and you're saying, I never have success. I never see good results. I'm that 1% that just nothing ever works for. How many of you are that person? I never win things. I never, I never, I never. Your negative language is serving you so well. What I mean by that is your negative language is doing exactly what you're asking it to do. You got to change your language. <clears throat> you got to change your ability to heal. And, and I'm, I want you to hear me on this one. We can easily block our healing through our own negativity. And, and you might say, well, Jen, as a Christian, you're sounding a little new age here. No, this is biblical. And I don't mean the law of attraction. I, I'm against all that. I am for positive mental shifts in things. That if you can shift your mental attitude towards something, guess what? Magic happens. And I don't mean magic. I mean, God shows up in ways that you were blocking before because you were in your own way. You were too angry to see any benefits happening and you were, so maybe you stop. Like I, I would encourage Gay that if she's like, well, I don't really believe that those, the, the whole shoulder thing, right. She could, she could say that because she, she trolled somebody else on here and I deleted the comment. Gay, I love you. I, I actually know gay, so it's fine. But, but she, she put on there, she started saying, oh, it didn't work for me. She said, what you're doing is spreading negativity. I delete those comments. I didn't delete your main comment because I actually felt like it was an honest question. And part of that is, you know, part of it is you're mad. And I, what I mean by that is you're like, anybody but me not seeing any positive difference, that's a pretty fighting stance of like, this isn't working. And you're like, you know, the first week my shoulders really hurt. At least that didn't continue, right? So so there's there's a ball of negativity there. So what I want you to see is that the hurt shoulder was healing something. That's phenomenal. And then I want you to really consider what your negative language is, how it's serving you. And, and I, I, it's not going to serve you well on this. So I want you to stop using the patches. And what I, why? Why would I say stop? Because most people would say, oh, no, lean into it. You got this. Keep going. Because you might not even realize what it's done for you until you remove it. So if you've been on it for six weeks and you remove them, take off the Eon, take off the X39, stop using them for two weeks. And you might notice like, oh, wow, actually it was helping me. And what I mean by that is it may have balanced your brain. You may have been feeling more calm than flying off the handle all the time. You may have noticed uh, inflammation comes back that you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot that I had that thing in my wrist and it's now back. There's some interesting things that happen when you go off of a supplement and the patches are considered a supplement. I don't mean a consumable supplement. I mean, it's supplementing your health. So, so I encourage you on that, that, um, you know, try going off of them for two weeks and see how you feel. Uh, it's usually the two week mark. You will have a halo effect for about a week using these. Uh, and then after that, but when that second week happens, so I happen sometimes we'll go, like we went up to mammoth, um, two or three months ago and we forgot all of our patches. They were in like our kitchen. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot all of the patches. 
we were only up there for, I think, six days that time. So I was like, oh, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. You know, I drank a bunch of water and we were fine. But knowing coming back, we all got back on the patches and stuff. But um, after two weeks is when you start feeling a big like, whoa, okay, now I can see the difference. So sometimes your husbands or spouses will do that where they're saying, what are we paying for? What? Okay, I'm taking them away from you. Take them away. And then they'll be like, oh, I don't feel as good. Like, oh, my back hurts when I get up in the morning. And oh, when I play pickleball, I don't feel as good. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's great. Take them away. And then and then you'll want them back. So is there a patch protocol or other recommendations for hypothyroidism? I'm currently using X39 daily, X45 nine, five days a week, glutathione three times a week and Alavita three times a week. So, um, Gail is a friend of mine here personally in town. So I get to see her every once in a while. And she, um, yeah, I mean, yes, I would say what you can add to that would be SP six and you would put the SP six on your ST 36 point. We talked a little bit about that. That is specifically for your thyroid. Um, the Eon is going to be great as well. Um, I think you didn't put that on there. So I, I would probably move you to X39, Eon, and SP6 for a while. Remove X49 for a bit. Um, I know osteoporosis is, is in your mind as well. So you could technically leave that on. Um, glutathione, uh, you can remove for a little bit. Alavita is great as well for your thyroid. So, you know, and, and just determine where you're wearing them. So you could do X39 and X49 during the day you could do with SP6 and then you can do at night Aloe Vita with the Eon patch um, and then you can do rotate around that glutathione. So the, for, for daytime use, that's, uh, you know, those two patches I would say you might want to consider. So the Eon patch and well, you already have SP6 in there. So, um, and you said you are on an Eon as well. Oh no, no, I'm looking at Gay's post. So Gail, sorry, you guys, are right next to each other. Uh, so X39, X49, glutathione, and Alavita. So I would, I would actually get on the Eon patch, stay on the Alavita patch, um, and and kind of work through that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, any suggestions for Lyme's disease? I always giggle a little bit. It's not Lyme's. There's no S. It's just Lyme disease. Uh, yes, I work with um, Lyme disease all the time. And antibiotics are the worst thing you can do. So I just need you to hear me. The only time anyone should get antibiotics for Lyme is when you just got bit. If you were hiking and you got a tick bite, excuse me, and you actually saw the tick and you like, oh my goodness. And then you get the like, the bullseye. You're like, oh no, oh no. You go on an antibiotic round. That's the only time you do it. Most of you are getting diagnosed with Lyme later in life. And you're thinking, well, yeah, I grew up on the East coast and yeah, I got bit by ticks all the time when I was a kid, but you can't remember any time recently that you got bit. Why would you do antibiotics now? It is the stupidest, the most asinine thing any doctor could prescribe for old an old case of Lyme, meaning you got it a while ago. The spirochetes are in you. They are buried. <laughs> You're, you know cofactors are varied. So we work with people with Lyme all the time. If you, or I do, we, meaning me, if you are interested in getting some help with Lyme on a natural level, I do encourage you to join my naturopathy program. Um, and I would do that before Sunday. And the reason for that is because you need that one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, I don't have time after this Sunday to schedule any more one-on-ones for probably three months. So you definitely, if you, if you're ready to go, you need to get involved um, with that right away. Uh, but yeah, you, there's a long haul protocol that we do. Um, there's some patches that we do and uh, specific things that you have to pay close attention to, to mitigate your uh, triggers, to mitigate any of the fatigue and things that are happening, but, um, it's, it's a difficult, long process of getting, um, those cofactors out and helping, uh, your body rid itself of the spirochetes that are just nasty little buggers. Okay. So best supplement regimen 
for bone support. Uh, osteo uh, support, there's a couple things. There's um, from PRL, Premier Research Labs, 25% uh, off right now. So if you need that code, you can go to the Ask Dr. Jen group and look in there. But um, we use things like bone health, the calcium magnesium plus, which is a uh, you know plant-based supplement with calcium and magnesium from earth and dealing with um, basically those two would be good. And then also looking at your D vitamins. So D3, K2. So I do those two at night before bed. That's if you have osteo issues, um, you want to do D3, K2. So it's D3 plus K2 uh, from PRL and the um, calcium magnesium plus at night before bed. Uh, do not take a calcium supplement. And what I mean by that is don't take an isolated calcium supplement. They're actually really bad for you. Uh, you do get enough calcium in your diet usually. So uh, it just is a matter of if you're a coffee drinker, you're depleting certain things. Um, you know, coffee can, can really wreak havoc on people with osteo issues. So we're going to stop all of that. We want to make sure your body's not acidic. Um, we want to stop drinking milk, eating a lot of dairy. We can lower that dairy to about 10 to 15% per day. Um, and I just help people with that as well. So that's where, again, I would encourage you to, uh, upgrade to the upper package so that you can get that 30 minutes with me, but th that's an easy one. So, um, hopefully that is helpful to you. Last week I patched my sister X39 Eon. Um, next day she complained that she couldn't sleep. Well, yeah. So if you patch somebody for the first time at night, cause you patched her at 10 PM and then yeah, you're waking up mitochondria. And so the first day or two on these patches is like brain opening, you feel amazing, you know, so we do not patch people at night. It's uh, like, they will hate you. They will not sleep a wink. So the first couple of days is during the day. And then if they start going into detox, then they can do it at night. Um, so anyhow, there you go. And that's part of it. Um, that's, you know, it's, it's just cause you patched her at night. <laughs> that's all. Uh, can you suggest specific blood work for a 16 year old? Not really. Just go in and ask for the, you know, complete metabolic panel and normal blood work stuff. And, um, you know, you can talk about her fatigue and I mean, that's typical 16 year old, year olds need uh, 12 hours of sleep. Most of you parents don't know this and you get mad. Like when your kids sleep in on the weekends, please let your kids sleep in on the weekends. School starts too early. Uh, I think that schools should start later and that they should be able to get 12 hours of sleep. Um, you know, we trained our son pretty early on to do his homework in class. He kind of learned that from another um, teacher and he got really good at that of during any break during school, any break, he wasn't just hanging out with his friends. He did his homework in school. So he never has homework when he comes home. So he's able to go to bed at like 10 o'clock at night and then he wakes up at you know, usually seven. Uh, it's still not perfect, but at least it's like nine hours of sleep. And then he sleeps in on the weekends and I let him sleep and he's, you know, let your kids sleep. And that's because she's probably sleep deprived. Um, and yeah, she's tired, needs a lot of naps because she's probably not getting good sleep, but it's not really necessarily a sign of anemia. anemia. Um, you can, you can have her blood work checked and see if her iron levels are low. Uh, but track what she's eating, track that she's drinking enough water. Um, she also needs exercise. I'm surprised at how many 16 year olds are just not getting a uh, sweaty activity. They need to be sweating once a day, like running around sweaty. <laughs> um, and some 16 year old girls just don't, they're like, good, you know? Uh, so there's some things there and there could be any, uh, any number of reasons for fatigue, um, in a 16 year old, but oftentimes it's hormonal. So without getting into any more details, sure. You can get blood work done for her, but, um, you know, is what it is. So I had blood work, uh, this week and your, your A1Cs are at six. Um, yeah, I mean, pre-diabetic is fine. You, it's, you have up until about seven. Uh, what can you do to lower it? Um, so it's it's not necessarily about your sugar intake. It's about your processed carbohydrate intake. So you've got to maybe if you wanted to go grain-free for 30 to 60 days, you could, you could do a real good 
thing for yourself and go grain free. So sugar is a grain. So grain free means like all the grains. So wheat, corn, you know, rice, like all that is grains, uh, oats gone. So none of that for plus sugar, you know, sugar grain, you're going to get rid of all that for four months. So you need to do 120 days and then you can go back in and your A1Cs will probably be perfect. So anyhow, um, and then cholesterol is also high when you eat um, processed carbohydrates. Same thing, same thing. It's sugar. It's uh, your body producing it and pulling it into glucose and then having too much glucose and trying to store it and converting it to triglycerides. And that will then clog your issues with cholesterol. So, um, it, you know, it's interesting because a lot of us have misunderstandings of how our bodies work. And I think that's part of what I've been coming in, trying to train you guys and, and know that like a lot of things start regulating when you get off of Americanized processed grains. It's unfortunate, but it is the way it goes. So, all right, we did, we did a thing <laughs> a little over an hour. I try to keep these to an hour. Um, I can just double check on the comments here and there's a bunch of comments. So I will try to see if I can get through these. Please ask your questions beforehand in the Ask Dr. Jen group, because I for sure get to those. Sometimes if I have extra time, I can. Um, yeah, we don't talk about the maintenance packs. I, I share that you have access to the maintenance packs in the patch manual, but we don't go over them in there because it's not necessary. You just log into your account go under store and then click down to maintenance packs and they're all there. Um, is there a weight loss patch? Uh, X39 can help people lose weight, usually around eight pounds in the beginning because uh, you're drinking more water. It causes people to be have the ability to move more. So because your joints don't hurt as much, less inflammation allows you to move more, which then can help you lose weight. So I've seen people lose hundreds of pounds to, you know, 100 200 pounds being on X39 alone. Uh, whereas like SP6 can help with sugar cravings. That can be helpful. Um, the energy enhancer patch, it burns uh, fat and converts it to energy, but really small amounts. So people who you see testimonies that say, oh my gosh, I used energy enhancer and I lost 20 pounds. I'm like, it's not because of the energy enhancer patch. I just help you, you know, to understand how beta oxidation works. It's small amounts to give you vital energy. <laughs> it's not burning a bunch of fat. Okay. So I, I just, I kind of giggle when I think, oh no, that's bad advertising. Cause it really doesn't work for like 99% of the people because all you're doing is putting the energy enhancer patch on and thinking it should just be burning weight in my sleep. And it's not doing that. So so yes, X39, SP6 would be the two. Sometimes pairing it with a glutathione patch to help just flush out toxins can be helpful as well. Eon patch can be monumental for those of you who have stress-induced weight gain or stress-induced in inability to lose weight. When you have a lot of cortisol in your body, the wake hormone, when you have too much of it is now called the stress hormone and too much cortisol is going to cause your body to hold on to everything because it thinks you're dying. So it just holds on to all the calories. So um, stress is a huge thing. So if we can get the stress down, and that's why we get people on the Eon patch, um, magic can happen. So, uh, okay. So if do patches work with your medications like high blood pressure, thyroid, and depression meds, um, they don't interfere but as your body starts to heal, your blood pressure meds can be too strong because your body's healing or your thyroid meds can be too strong because your thyroid's healing. Your depression meds can be useless, like too strong. <laughs> so, so that's part of the issue is that you have to pay close attention to how you're feeling when you're doing this. Um, you love the PRL calcium, magnesium plus it helps you sleep. Yep. It's great. It's good for that for sure. I'm diabetic. And since having, um, a continuous glucose monitor, I can see how the grains and sugar affect you negatively. Yeah. Um, so sugars go much, um, much harder to control even when using insulin. Yeah. The sugars, even in your, if you eat like a heavy, like big pasta meal or some pizza, uh, you'll notice two hours after you're just, you're just spiking like crazy. 
Um, you know, obviously sugar does that too, but you can regulate that with some medications. And, you know, we do that with Tim all the time, but it's just a matter of you figuring out, um, you know, the patches and how they're helping to, um, support your pancreas, right? That's, that's the goal. So, uh, anyhow. Okay. So that's it. I think we answered all the questions here and we are live on Facebook, I believe still we are live and a bunch of you are on the Facebook live. I can see like a long list of questions here. A lot of you on, but hello. Yes. 50 years young. Uh, okay. And then we talked about diabetes. Um, <laughs> I'll bite. Who's the second one. Okay. So all, most of you who have been following me in the past are with young living. I think they're a great brand. It's a good brand of essential oils. It comes from Young Living comes from the oldest company in the United States with Kurt Schnaubelt, and that's Original Swiss Aromatics. So that's who Gary learned from. If you go on the Lavender blog um, from Young Living, there's a whole write-up about Gary's foundation and how Young Living would not even be a company without Kurt Schnaubelt and Original Swiss Aromatics. He's even had him come speak at some conventions, knowing that he was a competitor at that point. Um, so yeah, original Swiss aromatics do not fractionate their oils. What I love about that company is they have excellent variety of singles, specifically conifers. Those are oils that you can get that are tree oils, uh, like various species, which I just love because you can really, you can't get that through young living, but what you can't get through original Swiss aromatics that I think young living does a better job at is the, um, blends. So Young Living Blends, I've still not ever found a company that does a better job than Young Living or myself, right? I, I do manufacture blends as well. I don't, I usually give them out as free gifts when we do some sort of gift. Uh, but yeah, that they're, um, they have, they cornered the market through Gary's blends. Their new blends aren't so great, but the, um, the blends that Gary made, not all of them, but they have about uh, half a dozen that are just untouchable that no other company can even come close, right? So like Thieves or Peace and Calming or Valor, Original Valor, um, Stress Away, uh, you got like RC Purification, right? These are pretty much other companies try to create and they just don't hit the mark. Um, so original Swiss aromatics, they really have the best singles and they have the best variety of singles and they're super clean, uh, not fractionally distilled really great. So, uh, I know, am I coming out with a winter perfume? <laughs> uh, probably not. Um, the The summer perfume, we still have a little bit left. So if you are wanting that, um, I think it's like $20. They're great. That that one, I still love that smell. I We are, we are over capacity. Uh, I'm doing the best I can to make sure I'm meeting the needs of my LifeWave team and community. And um, that is enough, like, that's insane. We I'm traveling once a month. I'm going to the corporate headquarters grand opening this September in just a couple of weeks. Uh, only 35 elite SPDs got invited to this. So a lot of people are not too happy about that and they're sort of mad, but I'm one of them. So I got invited and I'm so, so honored and excited to go. Uh, but that takes me out for, you know, a good week of time. You know, we were in Greece for almost two weeks. So that takes me out, you know, it's like, so I'm doing my best to make sure I'm servicing my, my people as best as I can. So, so we're, we're probably going to be limited. We, we, Tim and I spoke uh, the other day about char bars. We only, we only provide those in November and December, and this may be the very last year and we will do a lot. We will try to make a lot and just blow them out. So you can just stock up. They don't go bad. And then, um, we just don't ship them in the summer months. Uh, we probably won't do jewelry this year. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys like every November wait for our jewelry line to come out. Uh, cause that's a, you know, seasonal. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to have any time to do a winter perfume because we would have had to start it a while ago. Uh, it's usually a nine month process. So, so we'll probably have a summer, another summer perfume. We'll see. Um, Okay. Um, I don't use Young Living anymore because they fired me. I'm allowed to talk about it because I didn't sign the stupid thing. They wanted me to sign a brand new contract. And I'm like, why would I? Um, uh, unlawfully. I, you know, I was promoting LifeWave. I never promoted LifeWave into, um, I never promoted it like 
hey, come use X39 or LifeWave. Uh, it was on my wall. My wall directed people. I'm not going to tell you guys the whole story, whatever. Um, I took down everything. I was in full compliance. They told me what to do. I took it down, <laughs> right? Uh, and they still terminated me and they decided to stand by that decision. Uh, it was stupid on their part because over 2000 people terminated their accounts willfully. Like they were so pissed at it. It was fine. You guys, I, I still, um, like I said, I still teach on them. If you have a question, I, we still use some of their products. You know, I think mighty pros, excellent agile is a great product. Um, I can't find a cough drop to, to come close to the wild cough drops. <laughs> so we still get those. Uh, we don't use Ninja Red anymore. There's things that some people are like, oh my gosh, what do you use? I'm still alive. You know, we use patches for a lot of things. I do PRL supplements that in my opinion are better than a lot of theirs. Uh, like master formulas, not a great supplement. It never has been. Um, they needed to, they need to reformulate that desperately, but they know that they know these things. They know like mega cal should be discontinued, but people still use it. So, you know, so, you know, I, I help people understand the difference and you can do what you want. Like, you know, super cow plus is amazing. It's an amazing supplement. Um, and, but I use the, the calcium, you know, the, the calcium magnesium plus, which is like almost identical. So it's good. And yes, it was God's plan for me. Uh, and I felt really compelled to be okay with it. <laughs> God was like, you're fine. You're going to be fine. And so I didn't fight it. And, um, I still love you guys who use young living. And I think there was some people that were really angry at the whole thing, uh, for me and then angry at me. And I'm like, caught in the middle. I'm just going to do the best I can with what I got. Uh, so that's the answer to that. And that's okay. Uh, and so I still love you if you use Young Living. I, Young Living's great. I have no problem with them. Um, so do I have product videos about how the product works that you could, yeah. So every, all of the videos, if you go to patchedu.com, um, I think that's what you're referring to patchedu.com, And you should all watch the first two videos. If you have a little extra time, watch all four videos. There are four videos on the very front page there. The first one is like a minute and a half on phototherapy, just so you understand what that is. The second video is a five minute video from me just explaining the basics. Uh, I think the third video I believe is my 30 minute video on a little bit more than the basics. And then the fourth video is a video from the um, maker of it, David, and that's an 18 minute video. Uh, and so there's four videos on here that are really easy to watch and helpful. And then the pa the patents are on there, the studies are on there, and you can see everything on patchedu.com. So that's where I would recommend all of you go to just get started. And then text me. When you're ready to get started, just shoot me a text and um, tell me your name. So many people text me and they don't tell me their name, but um, my phone number is 949-282-9745. And like I said, you can text me, ask me questions. If somebody else referred a video of mine to you and you're like, I, someone else told me about LifeWave, just contact them and say, hey, I just watched Jen's video and she told me to reach out to you. So that's your person. Um, okay. So <clears throat> yeah. So you can, and then also on YouTube, I have a whole young, young living told me to do that. So I did, I'm like, I was totally like, okay with doing whatever they requested me to do. I, I created a brand new YouTube channel. Um, I post about the patches on my old YouTube channel now because I can, cause legally I'm outside of like, I'm way outside of my, like period of having not, I can't share with anybody. So I don't share with anybody. <laughs> so it's no big deal. But, um, but yeah, I have two YouTube channels. One is just on all things health and stuff. And I never deleted all the Young Living videos because you guys still use them and like them and that's fine. I don't promote that anymore though. And uh, the other one is all on patches. So it's patchedu.com or patchedu on YouTube. And so that one, you can watch a ton of videos there. Uh, yes. So Deb says it was eye-opening when I stopped using some essential oils and supplements because she didn't think they were doing anything and she was so wrong. So it's a, it's cool to do that with your body every once. And Gary was a big fan of that too. He was always like, just stop, stop using it. Like use this for three weeks on and then two weeks off. And everyone's like, oh no, why? Well, because you need to make sure it's working. Um, okay, if you get glutened, uh, she's asking about, um, that's not off topic. It's a health topic. So you are going to use copious amounts of 
of um, if you go out to a restaurant and you don't know if you're going to have any gluten issue or not, you have to take about eight capsules of two to three different digestive enzymes. So I don't care what you use, just pick two to three different digestive enzyme uh, complexes. That means there's a lot of different ones in there. And you take a lot, you take about eight pills um, during your meal, like right before you start eating. Uh, so that's what you do. Yeah, I know. Getting your husband on board, I have a way to do that. So if you are wanting to sign up with me and you want me, just say, and I want my husband to get on board too, I will help you with that. Um, yeah, so iron deficiency can be if they are having very heavy cycles, very heavy menstrual cycles, which means you have to remove all dairy. 100% of all dairy must be removed from your daughter's diet. Okay. It's a very important thing. Um, you get sleepy after a meal because your body is going into digestion mode and the digestive process can be overtaxing, which typically means that you're low on vital energy. Digestion is a vital energy thing. It just automatically happens like your heartbeat, your breathing. So vital energy means that you're probably B deficient. So you need a B complex. That's why I recommend taking complete B in the morning with breakfast and then phytomethylate at lunchtime. Don't take any B vitamins after 2 p.m., but that's um, something that can help with that after meal tiredness. Okay. Um, can I do the couple sign up with my diabetic husband? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that, but oh, you mean, yes, you mean uh, signing up with LifeWave together. Yes. And that, again, you would just let me know that it's two of you and you want to move forward with that. Can you talk about the PRL HCL activator and the premier HCL digestive enzymes? So you would need those if you're a heavy meat eater. So all you crazy carnivores out there, you are desperate for HCL. Um, your body is consuming too much meat. And what happens is that will slow down your digestive system and cause most likely some uh, candida overgrowth. So the HCL is going to help digest that meat because you're not a lion. You're not an animal. You're a human that doesn't have a highly acidic digestive system. So if you're eating a lot of animal protein, uh, you need the HC, Premier HCL and the PRL, H, the HCL activator. Um, and if you don't eat that much meat, then you don't need it. I don't, I don't know why you bought that. And let, you know, I usually, if you had a candida, like some people read some of my things where I say, you know, if you have an overgrowth of candida um, or fungus, you might need that, but that's only if you have a problem with, you know, consuming too much meat. Um, yeah. Give them to your meat eaters. Or if you eat a heavy, like I don't eat a lot of meat. And then sometimes I do like, sometimes I'll have a big, huge, juicy steak. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I should probably have some HCL, but because my digestive system is good and because I don't drink a ton of fluids with meat, when you're eating animal protein, don't be drinking so much water. And because when I'm eating like a steak meal, I chew it really a lot. I chew it, get the digestive enzymes in your mouth doing the, the trick. Okay. So, um, all right, and all good. Uh, I don't know, good to know on, oh yeah, dairy and iron. And the best iron you can do, do not get a, an isolated iron supplement. That's the worst thing you can do. You wanna get a plant-based iron. And it is the number one reason why I switched over to Premier Research Labs. It was because they have a plant-based iron. And some of you remember when I was carrying a brand called Phyto um, Iron that we labeled, we private labeled as Vita Iron. It was that important to me that uh, being anemic myself, it just was crazy to me that nobody had a plant-based iron. And it was a new product launched by PRL. And because they allow private labeling, I designed a label. And some of you were like, oh my gosh, this looks like Jen's stuff. And it's like, yeah. Um, and I realized too many of you were buying it. We couldn't stock it as fast. There's just too much need for it. So that's why I opened the ability for you guys to buy supplements through PRL through my practitioner link. And then you can just get the Fido iron and you take those four capsules one hour before lunch. 
Okay, and that's really, really important. Uh, if you take B vitamins after two, um, it sometimes can keep you up at night. So some people will sleep fine with B vitamins in their system, but specifically B12 um, can cause you to have some extra energy. So that's why. All right, so I think we I hit it all and we went for an hour and a half. I apologize, but um, we haven't done this in a while. So I think we've done a good job here. Um, and I don't actually know where... I think I'll just have to end the video because I can't find the video on Facebook. <laughs> Where did the Facebook go? <laughs> oh, Facebook. All right. So you guys have a great evening and the dogs are going to start barking at me because they know my ending words. Uh, but that's it. So take care, everyone. All right. I think we're good. Take care, guys. Bye.